Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. This tutorial will demonstrate a rear attack against a Linksys router. It's a Linksys WAG 54G2 router with a WPA2 pre-shaped key. It's it's a fairly default configuration that's that's on on the Linksys. There's nothing special that's been configured. So we'll share how easy this is. So the first thing is we need to install Reva onto the OG150. Let's just keep this up. Importantly, when we install packages to the OG150, we typically install it to the USB memory stick. Okay, the reason why we do that is the memory on the OG150 is, is fairly limited. So we utilize the memory stick for applications and launch it applications from there. Okay, just while this is finishing up, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a directory called etc. Reaver. And this is because we've installed Reaver to the to the USB. If we'd installed Reaver directly to the OG150, it would have created that file for us. Okay. Interestingly, if you don't do that, wash, which you'll see shortly, won't work. Okay. So let's run M on NG. See what we have. Okay, so we have a wireless LAN zero interface. So what we need to do is create a monitoring interface from WLAN0 and it will create MON0. Now the next step is advisable and the reason is I found problems with WLAN0 being enabled and using the MON0 interface so I just disable it. Okay. That won't stop the MON0 from operating as you can see it's still there mon zero okay so let's launch wash so what is wash wash will tell us what ssids are using wps in simple terms okay it will scan across all channels and you'll be able to see what targets are available for this attack Okay, so that's probably our next door neighbor's router, which we'll leave while alone. And we've got the Linksys box. Okay, that's our guy. As you can see with the um, RS, RSSI receive signal strength indicator, neg 41. Now, that's a really strong signal and the reason is there's about one meters distance between the OG150 and the Linksys router. Okay, so let's see the options for Reaver. <clears throat> okay, so the first bit is self-explanatory, we're using Mon0. The BSSID was gleaned through WASH, so we can stick that guy in. And we also know that the channel is channel 11. And we'll add VV to make the output very verbose. What this will do is it will now try all the pins to ascertain which pin is configured on the Linksys box. Once it's guessed the right pin, you'll have the WPA or WPA2 pre shared key. Interestingly, Reaver will actually try the most common pins first, okay, which is interesting because the Linksys box uses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero by default, and Reaver uses that one first. Okay, kick that guy off. There you go. Um, pin cracked in four seconds. It doesn't matter what the pre-shared key is, it will 
always find it if it cracks WPS and now we see the preset key be careful using this it's extremely powerful um, WPS is still sadly prevalent in residential environments not so much enterprises um, WPS was really created for home users that were not um, IT savvy I think is the polite word for it um, so yeah it's just a useful demonstration okay have fun